Hello my friends, welcome to another video, Gabriel here and this is a screen recorder of the Sony Xperia Z2 running on Android 5.0.2 Lollipop. Let's go to settings. Right from the beginning of this video, I want to tell you that I'm using a custom launcher, it's called Go Launcher and you can download it for free in the Play Store. And I'm mentioning this because uh, on every video that I make, people are asking me what launcher do I use. It's Go Launcher. You can find it in the Play Store. As you can see, Android 5.0.2 Lollipop, build number 726. If you've seen my previous videos uh, regarding the Sony Xperia Z Ultra and the update to Lollipop 5, things are pretty much similar in terms of uh, user interface the same icons, uh, the same colorful uh, user UI and uh, nothing much uh, has actually changed in, uh, in terms of uh, UI what uh, has changed for me and uh, not in uh, the good uh, sense is the fact that uh, now my loudspeakers are uh, somewhat on the low side they aren't as loud as they, as they were uh, previously to this update. I don't know if uh, this is happening only to me or uh, anyone, else, anyone else is uh, facing this issue. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you encounter this issue with the sound coming from the loudspeakers. But uh, in my case, um, I did notice a uh, pretty pretty big uh, decrease in uh, terms of uh, volume overall the Sony Xperia Z2 feels a lot uh, snappier it uh, behaves very well in every task I haven't noticed any issues so far. The only issues that um, I've encountered are mainly with uh, the overheating, but uh, that happens especially when uh, shooting 4K video and also when uh, playing some uh, very intensive uh, 3D, gra uh, 3D games. Tap to wake uh, also seems to be a bit unresponsive. It happened to me a couple of times to double tap on my uh, display in order to wake it up, and uh, it didn't uh, recognize the the inputs. So. Uh, I don't know what to say. So far, battery life, uh, I haven't got a chance to test it uh, properly. But as you can see, this is my usage for today. I unplugged the device from the charger approximately at uh, 4 o'clock in this, uh, this morning when I left to work. So uh, these are the times that I got. Mobile data was uh, always on. Had a couple of uh, phones, used a bit the camera, also stayed a lot on uh, Facebook and uh, browsed the web. We have ultra stamina mode in order to gain uh, a lot more battery from our uh, device. We have multiple accounts. And this is pretty much uh, everything there is uh, with this update. To be honest with you, on the Sony Xperia Z2, this update, um, how should I say it, doesn't have the same effect that it had on the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. Mainly because the Z2 is a very powerful device, a very well built and uh, well performing device. But on the Z Ultra, this update uh, actually um, 
gave to, to the Zio Ultra a new life, if you want, uh, basically reinvented the Zio Ultra. So uh, this is why uh, I'm saying that on the Z2 this, uh, this effect isn't uh, as present as it is on the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. And uh, any Z Ultra user out there could, uh, could tell you this, uh, this also. As I said, uh, my, main, uh, my main gripes with this update are the fact that uh, my loudspeaker my loudspeakers um, aren't as loud as they were on a KitKat 4.4 uh, uh, the slight uh, overheating but uh, as I said in uh, special conditions such as uh, gaming and uh, this pretty much uh, is all that I have to say uh, in terms of issues and uh, bad things about this update Everything else, as you can see, runs uh, very well, very smooth. As I said right now, I'm using the, my mobile data connection. So it does take uh, a bit longer to load the apps. YouTube as always is a pain in the ass. I don't know when they're gonna just um, update this app in order to, to make it work a lot uh, faster and a lot better. As you can see, it's, uh, it's taking too long to, to load. And another thing, if you want, which uh, was also present on the Sony Xperia Z Ultra, or um, actually not present, is the close all button in the recent apps uh, window. Still on the Sony Xperia Z2, we don't have uh, the close all uh, apps button, which um, it's kind of a bummer if you ask me, but uh, it is what it is. This is the way that uh, Sony makes these updates. The new notification area with all the shortcuts which uh, you can edit by clicking this icon and uh, dragging one in order to edit also you can switch uh, the accounts or you could go straight to to the normal settings of the phone And just like on uh, the Sony Z Ultra, we no longer have an automatic brightness. We have uh, what uh, is now called adaptive brightness, which uh, basically is the same thing. So uh, nothing new here. And in accessibility, if we go. We now have the options to use color inversion and uh, color correction. Though we are warned that uh, these features are experimental, so uh, be careful uh, when you use it. Okay guys, this pretty much does it for this video. This is uh, just a screw recorder from the Sony Xperia Z2 to show you um, basically the same things that I showed you on the Sony Xperia Z Ultra 
So if you're wondering uh, if there are anything, uh, any new features added to the Z2 with uh, this update, um, no, they're not. Uh, they're pretty much the same uh, throughout the entire Xperia Z line. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button. Also share the video. Leave your comments in the comment section. And as always, you can follow me on my official Facebook page, Google+, Twitter or Instagram. I'm Gabriel, signing out. Peace.